Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 13b. Given that the z is equals to negative 3 plus i. So step number one, I'm going to locate the z in the diagram. So as we all know, here we have the imaginary axis and here we will have the, the real axis. So here will be the location of the z. Next, we are going to find the modulus of z. So in this case, the modulus of z is equal to square root of a would be negative 3. So a squared we will have 9, followed by b. In this case, b is equal to 1. So 1 squared we will have 1. So finally, the modulus of z is equal to square root of 10. Step number 3, we are going to find the alpha. So in this case, here will be our alpha. So arc tangent b is equal to 1 over 3. So we just take the value and ignore the negative sign. So alpha will be equal to 18.43. So step number 4, I'm going to look for the argument of z. So in this case, the argument of z is start from 0 and this will be the argument of z so for this case we are going to take 180 minus the alpha which is 18.43 so finally we have 161.57 so as i mentioned earlier argument of z must be expressed in the form of radian so in this case with the help of the calculator and we have 2.82 so do remember give your answer in three significant figure so finally z will be equals to square root of 10 bracket cos argument which is 2.82 plus i sine argument 2.82 so here we are and thanks for watching